The next question is what is scatternet? So if you see scatternet is nothing but a kind of Bluetooth device procrimination. One Bluetooth device can operate simultaneously on two PicoNet acting as a bridge between the two. A conglomeration of two or more PicoNet is said to be called as scatternet. You can see here the depiction of scatternet along with PicoNets. So this one is PicoNet A and this one is PicoNet B. Here we go with the next question. What is QAM? QAM is abbreviated as Quadrature Amplitude Modulation. The answer is at a high bit rate, a combination of ASK and PSK. ASK is said to be Amplitude Shift Key, whereas PSK is said to be Phase Shift Key. So at high bit rates, a combination of ASK and PSK is employed in order to minimize the errors in the received data. This kind of methodology and implementation is said to be called as quadrature amplitude modulation. This was one such question which is highlighted in Videocon Dell. Let's move on to the next question. What are the non-linear effects in FDMA? In FDMA, FDMA is nothing but frequency division multiple access. So in FDMA, many channels share the same antenna at the base station. The power amplifiers are non-linear, which causes signal spreading in the frequency domain and it also generates the intermodulation frequencies. And apart from that, it is undesirable and it can be having a result in interface, its interference. It is undesirable and can result in interference. Let's move on to the next question. Write a short note on linear equalizer and non-linear equalizer. If we see about linear equalizer, if the output dt is not used in the feedback path to adapt the equalizer, this type of equalizer is said to be called as linear equalizer. In terms of non-linear equalizer, if the output that is said to be dt, so if the output is feedback to change the subsequent outputs of the equalizer, then it is said to be non-linear equalizer. Now let's move on to the next question. Define dwell time. The time over which the call may be maintained within a cell without handoff is called as dwell time. This time is governed by factors such as propagation, interference, distance between subscribers and the base station. Let's move on to the next question. What is co-channel interference? The interference between the signals from the co-channel cells is called as co-channel interference. You can see the depiction over here. Here we have the next question. What are the factors influencing small scale fading? The factors that influence Small scale fading are speed of surrounding objects, multipath propagation, speed of the mobile, and the final one as the transmission bandwidth of the signal. So these are considered to be the factors that is influencing the small scale fading. Here we have the next question. Define EIRP. EIRP is abbreviated as Effective Isotropic Radiated Power. So if you see EIRP of a transmitting system in a given direction 
is said to be the transmitter power that would be needed within an isotropic radiator in order to produce the same power density in a given direction. So we have the depiction of formulation over here for EIRP. EIRP is PT plus GT minus LT. So PT is nothing but the transmitter power in terms of watts. GT is nothing but the transmitting area in terms of antenna gain. And LT is nothing but the losses in the faders. Here we go with the next question. What is diversity? Diversity in terms of wireless communication is used to compensate for fading channel impairments and it is usually implemented by using two or more receiving antennas. Diversity improves transmission performance by making use of more than one independently faded version of the transmitted signal. So this is all about the term which is called as diversity. The next question define cell cluster. In terms of mobile communication, this the calls for replacing the high power transmitters by low power transmitters by dividing the coverage area into small segments are called as cells. Each cell uses a certain number of available channels and a group of adjacent cells together use all the available channels. Such a group is said to be called as cell cluster. So we have the next question. We got to differentiate time selective and frequency selective channel. If you see the gain and the signal strength of the received signal are time varying that means then the channel is described as the time selective channel. Other than this the frequency response of the time selective channel is constant so that the frequency flat channel is proclaimed over here. And also the channel is time invariant but the impulse response of the channel show a frequency dependent response. So it is called as frequency selective channel. Thank you for watching this from GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited.